what is up YouTube it is Beanie Kid and today we got a nice little tutorial as you can see by the title of this um by the title of this video showing you automatic wheat farm well yeah automatic semi-automatic I'm not sure I'm just gonna put automatic on the title but yeah as you can see by that I'm gonna show you I'm not gonna show you how to do it first I'm gonna show you what it is and here it is this is my design I designed it just 30 minutes ago <laughs> yeah I created it all in Minecraft Pocket Edition and of course it's fully functional so for 0 0.4.0 so it all works so here's the overview of it have a good look you guys could like pause the video and get a good look how it looks like right now I'm gonna show you in survival how it works. I just want being creative to be and give you the overlook. So yeah, this is it. And now I'll meet you guys back when I'm in survival mode. And we're back, you two. We're here in survival mode, as you can see by my hearts. We are here, so we can't fly or anything. I'm gonna show you how it works and about how much um it's called we we get in seeds. And I only have 12, 12 right there, as you can see, 12 dirt. So yeah, this is where we collect it. We're gonna collect it at this point. So yeah, so I'm gonna show you how we do it. So we just go around here, go to the back of it, and we climb up here. And behind it, these half slabs is water. So those are half slabs. Behind these half slabs is water. So as you can see, we're gonna break them. Oh, I haven't broke it. Oh, okay. So yeah, I put ice. I used ice so it's much easier. And also under these half slabs is water. So yeah, that's that's the important thing. Just wondering. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I gotta break this. From this angle. I totally forgot how to break this. So yeah. It's usually like this. So we just we I, I put dirt block because it's easier to break and easier to get. Other than wood, and it takes longer to break. You can put whatever you block you want, but yeah. The half slabs are also to keep the water from going straight and not going to the sides. So as you can see, I'm getting a bit lag because of all the entities. Entities. Also, I didn't break this ice. I probably didn't break the other one either. So yeah, this is how pretty much it works. And yeah. Oh fuck, again, my bad. There we go, the only thing you probably get seeds and couple of that. Whoa, lag, all the entities in the water flow. So yeah, everything just going straight down the middle. Whoa, look at the lag. Ooh, ooh. The lag you get off of this. It's insane. And I'm in an 8 gig, so of course I'm getting bad. Lag. Look at that. And I also put ice right there in the bottom. So once it reaches the bottom, as you can see, it's traveling fast down the middle. So of course, you got, if you if you could hack it in, then put the ice right there. It's better. Because things to despawn is 5 minutes. It makes time go by faster. If not, we've been going slowly, slowly right down the middle. And all collects at this central point. And here it comes. Ooh, wow. And also, this is a four design. You can make it a three and a two design. A two, just two wheat. A three wheat. And a four, five, six, seven, eight, whatever you want. But of course, the lag is going to be big on the five and six. And I will show you guys a tutorial on how to make this. But of course, I'm hacking the things. And so, you can do this legit, but it's very difficult to make do this legit. Like, go into an ocean and just start building it from there. It's possible. I'm pretty sure it's possible. It's just time-consuming doing all that stuff. And I think everything's now at the middle, other than those right there. Now I'm collected. Let's see how much we get. And I'm lagging crazy again. Now about how much bread we get. And this is mainly for um main food source. Whoa, I'm lagging. 
to main food source after this collection. Oh, look at that. Lag is gone. Haha. <laughs> yes. Success. So about two and a half stacks and one, two, three, four, four, four stacks of seeds. Oh, we still got more. After we're done, we go here. Ooh, you, you could design it however you want. Because I, I used to have my old world and it was just hopping and everything. That was nice. But I accidentally deleted my old world if you saw my LP. You know what happened. And yeah, if you haven't checked out my LP, I finally did my first episode. It's amazing. Check it out, please, guys. And I appreciate you guys a lot. So, yeah, just collect the seeds that went onto the side. You can put them full blocks, which I might do full blocks so it won't come over here. I might do that. Yeah, but so you can see the water's right there. There's some dirt blocks that won't go over there. And right here, if I throw it to the right directly to the, it's called ice, it go bam right down the middle fast. That's why I prefer doing ice if you can hack it in. If not, then that's bad. Too bad. <laughs> so yeah, you just place back the seeds back and wait till it grows, or you can just bone meal them if you have like a infinite supply of bones with the mob spawn or something. You just bone meal them and keep doing that. So yeah, let's see how much bread we get. Oh yeah, we're gonna have like a stack or more. See, this is why it's a good main food supply. You will never run out of this. 57 bread and how much wheat? One left over. And yep, that is it, guys. That's the, that's what it is. I'll do 10 likes and I'll show you guys a tutorial on how to do this. It's very nice. It's very useful. Main food supply mainly useful. So yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's me, Beaner Kid. Still needing an outro. <laughs> like always, ending the video. Needing an outro. Goodbye, guys.